Ciao, I'm Simone Moro, I'm a professional mountaineer and in this moment we are at uh, 5,300 meters in the Everest Base Camp. What I will try to do now is to explain how we communicate from here with the rest of the world in a different way, with a voice channel or with a data channel. And I will show also the different tools we carry with us here that are working, working perfectly. What I'm holding now in my hands are the two different kind and two different age of uh, satellite phone. This is the first that I bought in 2002 and they carry on the summit of Everest the 24th of May 2002. And this is the latest one, the XT Dual, that now it represents 10 years of evolution between this and that. The XT Dual is a satellite phone but also GSM phone. So I can use here for example where we have no signal as a satellite mode but when I am in the city or when I get the signal, I will use as a normal mobile phone. The small brother of this satellite phone is the XT. This is just uh, and only a satellite phone. Both are also GSM. And in this moment, for example, we are charging the battery using uh, the solar panel. Here it's possible to see that we are self-sufficient because we have solar panel, we have our different model of satellite phone and we are charging the battery just with the sun. So we can continue to call, we are not depending from any source, water source of electricity. And this is the, a huge advantage that we have here in Biscom of Everest. Hello Nima, we are in Biscom. Here everything is okay. We have the camps, we have dining, sleeping tent, we have everything. So thank you very much, everything is okay, the porter arrived uh, punctually, so nothing is missing. Now I will explain how we can get the uh, internet here in Basecamp, in the uh, Everest Basecamp. We are using the Turaya EP. The Turaya EP is very simple, it's very small, it's less than one kilo. We have to orient the IP towards the satellite, turn on, make a setting, a pointing and setting, and that's it. You can get uh, uh, the line. This is the Ethernet mode. This is where we connect the cable when we are charging everything. And in the other side here, we are connecting the, the antenna, that is the last uh, equipment that now I want to describe. To get a more stable line, we decided to use also an external antenna. So not using just the IP, but also his external antenna. It's very easy. You position it in the same way, connecting with the satellite.